Welcome back scholars, welcome to the Kemet Masai Academy. This morning we're looking at the cardinal points. So those are four points of direction, four basic points of direction, and those are east, west, north, and south. So we're going to see if we can give the relation of one place to the other using the cardinal points to describe that relationship. So the four cardinal points are east, west, north, and south. And if we were to draw them, this is how we would label. So we usually use the, a vertical line and a horizontal line that T, you could call it your T, or the coordinate plane. It also looks at the coordinate plane. And it shows the direction. So we simply also put our arrows to indicate the direction. So north would be straight up from center, south straight down from center, east this way, and west that way. So if we're asked to compare the location between two places, we, we, we would, you could even sketch this, sketch your cardinal points, but where do you sketch it? At the place where you're leaving or the place where you're going? We would sketch it at the place that we're leaving from to see. So where is B from A? You would sketch it at A to see the location of B from A. Where is A from B? You would sketch your cardinal. Just draw your T. Make sure it's straight down, straight across. And from B, you would draw it at B to see where A is from B. So we have a map here of a location, a little village, a little community with different buildings. And like many communities, it's pretty much set up as a grid, right? Many communities, especially in the cities, are set up as a grid. So, so even if the buildings aren't exactly lined up, they are pretty much lined up. And then you have the streets coming in between, right? So we're going to look at this little community and answer the questions. So we have the mall, the shopping mall, where the residents go to buy their, their things that they need. We have the supermarket, where they get their grocery. The bank, where they get the money to buy the stuff. Providing they have the money they're saving. So we have the farmer's market, the office complex, where some of them work. The bookstore. Uh, shops, Joe's house, Bessie's house, the school, the church, the YMCA, the library, Marshall's house. So of course we're going to have other buildings in the community, but we can't put every single building. So we're focusing on this little section of the community, and we're going to use our cardinal points to answer the questions. Now, which two buildings are west of the YMCA? So the YMCA is our reference point. So we're thinking from the YMCA, which two buildings are to the west. So remember, west is in this. So it's as if the YMCA would be in the center, which two buildings are to that side of it. So we can draw our cardinal points in the center of the YMCA. We know that's west. So which two buildings are to the west of the YMCA, directly to the west? That's the church and the library. So we put the church and the library. Number two, the mall is to the east of which two buildings? All right, the mall is to the east of which two? So where, where the reference, the, the point of reference is the two buildings. The mall is to the east of them. All right, so we would draw our cardinal points there. And east is that way. So if the mall is to the east, then that means these are the two buildings then. The mall is to the east of them. So those would be the bank and the supermarkets. 
the mall is to the east of the bank and the supermarkets. Number three, which building is south of Joe's house? Of Joe's house. Therefore, Joe's house is our point of reference. That's where we're going to draw our cardinal points. So south, south is that way. So which building is directly south of Joe's house? So south would be the church. The church is directly south of Joe's house. Number four, which building is north of Bessie's house? All right, so where's Bessie's? So this is Bessie's house. It's the point of reference, so we draw our cardinal points and north is this one going up from center. So which building is north of Bessie's house? That would be the farmer's market. <clears throat> so the farmer's market is north of Bessie's house. Number five, which building is south of the church? All right, off the church. The church is our point of reference. So let's just put our cardinal points there and the direction is south. So south is going down that way from center. South of the church is the library. The library is south of the church. <clears throat> Number six. The bookstore is to the east or west of the office complex. Off the office, office complex. So the one that is saying off, we put it there. That's our point of reference. And we're talking about the bookstore. So this is, is what direction of that. It is to the east. The bookstore is to the east of the office office complex where am i biting up my tongue this morning the off the bookstore is to the east oh so they're saying is it to the east or west it's to the east all right number seven <clears throat> which building is directly south of the bank where's the bank so off the bank, that's our reference. South is that way, down from center. So that's the supermarket. The supermarket is directly to the south of the bank. The supermarkets. Number eight. <clears throat> So traveling south from the farmer's market, where would you have to pass to get to the school? All right, so from the farmer's market, if we are traveling south <clears throat> and we want to get to the school, where would we have to pass? We'd have to pass Bessie's house. It's in between the school and the farmer's market, traveling south. So we would have to pass Bessie's house. And our last question, <clears throat> Marsha left the YMCA, so maybe she went to do some swimming or play tennis or something. She left the YMCA, she's going home. She left the YMCA for home. In which direction did she travel? So from the YMCA to Marsha's house, Marsha's house is to that direction from the YMCA. So she had to travel. Which direction is that? That's west. She had to travel west to get to her house. So we ride towards the west, or, or she has to travel west. So then, 
our four cardinal points east west so west is opposites of east north and south north and south are opposites sorry and we simply just have to we can just sketch a t and put in quickly north south east west but the important thing is where is our reference point usually the word that follows off or from where is this thing from something else where is this place from somewhere else or where is that place off somewhere else right so that reference point is where we draw we sketch our little t with the cardinal points and then we can look at the direction and compare so bear in mind there are other points the semi-cardinal points and so on in between and even more but for now focus on the four main ones the four cardinal points east west north and south and that is how we compare places based on the direction all right so if you have been helped by this video just drop me a line to say thank you miss and share the video also so other students can benefit if you check the catalog and you don't see the video you're looking for just let me know and i'll add that topic for you and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now and click that bell so you'll be notified when new videos pop up. And they keep popping up. Alright, so take care scholars. I'll see you in the next video.